All right, guys, welcome to FIFA 08. And today we begin our journey in FIFA 08 manager mode. So, yeah, let's get into this then. So, new manager or PSP link. You can link your PSP to this if you've already been playing the uh, handheld version of it, guys. But we're not going to do that. We're going to start from the very beginning. This is the PS2 version of the game. Um, I chose this one because I thought, well, the gameplay is probably maybe at that little bit better, possibly in my opinion then uh, like the uh, 360 version or ps3 version yeah, i mean they're still good versions but i think most of you actually do prefer the older looking style one with like the classic gameplay anyway welcome to manager mode be the manager you are the man in charge wow i didn't think i was you know um so look after any league club in the game add your created clubs to any league and that's if you want to i think they had that in for a seven as well didn't they and whatnot but yeah uh test uh, the early um form of your team in pre-season friendlies develop your youth players into stars of tomorrow get the team in shape in the all new training simulator manage from the touchline in the visual sim don't forget to keep an eye out on the board's expectations or you're out so yeah that's it so welcome and uh, now we've got to choose our manager type so oh god this is where we <laughs> this is where it hits the fan isn't it immediately <laughs> oh which one do we go with yeah, i usually go with this guy right here because i don't know he just looks the youngest to me but yeah i think they've added a few more new ones and you can actually be a, a woman as well i think you could on the other games as well if i'm not mistaken but yeah so you know what I'm saying, guys. Yeah, I, I, I was considering <laughs> just going to be a woman, but then I was like, no, because I'll probably get like half a YouTube on my case about it or something. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with my regular and I'm going to enter my name, which would be Luby. Should I just put... No, I'll put my I'll put full name in. I will abbreviate but then I will enter the surname, which I usually do. Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay, that that was kind of weird. I swear I pressed uh, uh, square there for some reason, but that didn't work out. So, yeah, I'm going to put retro in as my second name, because that's what I usually do. Nationality English. I'm going to do the currency. Um, in fact, you know what? I, 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 I'm going to change the currency. I'm not going to change the currency for now. And year born, I'm going to have to just go with whatever is closest. And I'm going to put my own birthday in, which is September 24th. So, yeah, there you go. Send me a birthday present or a card or whatever in September, guys. And uh, select your country. So, you're now you've got to pick the country. It says if there's jobs available in that country, well... You know, that's kind of, that's kind of sh stupid, really, how it says jobs available, because w why not just not give me the option of that particular country if there weren't jobs available, you know? So we had England, France, Germany, Holland. you got Ireland. Uh, we got Italy. It tells you the leagues as well right there, so you can see. I'm, I'm assuming that tells you which divisions. I don't know if it's even possible to have divisions that d don't want to offer you anything. Like, I don't know, if you get sat too many times, then you might not get offered anything from certain divisions or something. I don't know. We've got Poland there. What else did we have? We had Norway. Um, we got Portugal. we got Republic of Korea with the K-League. we got Scotland with the SPL. we got Spain. we got Sweden. we got Switzerland. we got Turkey. we got the United States. we got Australia. We could go to the, um, the Australian League if we wanted to. we got Austria. we got Belgium. Brazil, we got Czech Republic, we got Denmark, and back to England. The one we're going to be doing this time, though, guys, is... If you haven't guessed from the, the thumbnail or the title, it's going to be in Spain. And uh, the team we're going to go, we're going to be in the uh, top division, and it's going to be... Not them. <laughs> Not them. Could it be? Nah, 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 that would just be... We need a challenge, guys. You know, we need a challenge. The team I'm going to go with is Valencia. So, yeah. There are a four and a half star team. The team chemistry was, I think, 39. Their attack, 84. Midfield, was that 81? Yep. And uh, defense, 80. Starting budget is 16 mil. So, not a big budget, but... I want the challenge, guys. I want the challenge of trying to, like, go after the league title against, like, Barca and Real. Because I think that would be really good. So, yeah. Fan surprise, Retro. What is Valencia thinking? Yeah. 
I would be questioning the same thing, to be honest. So we've got some meal here to start us off with. Merchandise with the name Vicente sells by far best. What a ledger, Pez 6 ledge right there. Uh, not playing him regular would be a waste. Fans love him. Well, you better have good stamina then. Derp. Um, Youth Academy. Some talented players in our Youth Academy are ready to make the jump to the first team. You should have a look at the following players. We've got Martinez and Monforte. R R Rubio, I thought it was a C at the end there, but it's not, uh, whatever. So yeah, the board expectations, they want us to qualify for the ECC, which I think is the equivalent of the Europa League or UEFA Cup back then. I think the champ is it the Champions Cup is the like the equivalent of the Champions League. Win the Copa del Rey, uh, upgrade your midfield coach, well, that's doable. Extend uh, one player's contract to three or more years. Okay, well, that, those are doable, to be honest. Contract negotiations. So we've got some contract alerts that we need to sort out. Uh, friendlies. Assess the team before the season. The board gives you the opportunity to schedule pre-season friendly matches. This is a good way to see if any additional player transfers are needed before the start of the season. Keep in mind that you also ri you are also risking player injuries. So, yeah, that wasn't in FIFA or, um, of 7, was it? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we've got to assign a sponsorship deal. So, really, I just go with the one that gives best funding per game. So, we've got Intact here with uh, four, uh, sorry, 47, no, 4700. I'm trying, 470,000. Jesus, I could not think there for my life. Anyway, uh, we've got Matty here. Way, Matty. Um, yeah, that might be better then. Anything else? Oh, we've got uh, Westmere Bank. Uh, I mean, they've got some good loyalty bonuses if you stay with them, but um, see, they've got uh, their league bonus isn't too great. Neither is domestic cup, neither is extra bonus. You, the thing is, I usually go with the one that just offers highest funding per game. But I mean, that's half a million per game, and actually, their loyalty and league and domestic bonuses are actually pretty good. So I'm probably going to go with them and sign that. So let's do that. So is your team ready for next season? Schedule up to four preseason friendlies. Assess your team's current form and identity, weak spots, and the starting formation. Keep in mind that you are you are risking uh, a drop in morale and increase of injuries. Uh, okay. I'm not going to do this because... I know you guys don't like pre-season friendlies. I don't like pre-season friendlies, and you probably, you guys probably don't want to watch this at all. So yeah, I don't know. You might get some extra funding or something from that, and get the f team into better form. But I'm not going to be doing that because it's just I'd rather just get crack on straight into the league. It'd be to be honest though, saying that. I think if you do schedule pre-season, I think that might be a good way of buying some more time in the transfer market. Actually, just thinking about it. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Oh well, who cares? We're doing it the hard way, man. So they're going to populate the transfer list, and I'll be right back with you. So yeah, the layout is uh, pretty much just the same as FIFA 07, except it's not as dark. Yeah, you know I mean, I do like the new like sort of white theme they've got going on here. It just brightens it up a little bit. It looks it makes it look a little fresh, you know. So yeah. Um. So the first thing we are gonna do, I think, is well, this is the episode where we pretty much go through everything, don't we? So yeah, we've got the office first up, and I guess we'll take a look at the calendar. So we've got uh, Mercia, I think, coming up first. That is at home. Um, followed by Real Zaragoza away, and then Getafe, and then Santander away. So yeah, green means home, red means away on the calendar here. We're on the 9th of September, so we can't actually make any transfers because the transfer window is not open since we're in September because the Liga starts in... Um, early September and finishes in late June as you'll see so yeah maybe doing preseason might have been a good idea but then again I guess we, we Valencia have got a really good team anyway so it's not too bad and we can sort of you know maybe build up some money and spend it in January so we, we can get by can't we um so yeah well um, we got Villarreal coming up there and that is at home in October November at the end of November we're at home to Atletico 
uh, into December December 9th, so three months exactly to the day, uh, we've got uh, Real Madrid coming up um, away. They've actually played Madrid already, the first game of the season, which was ironically against Barca. And they won one uh, nil Real Madrid, so Barca are like bottom of the league at the moment or something. But we have Barca coming up uh, in early January, January six. Got all the Copa del Reyes here, so we've got third round. So there's like two ties, isn't there? Quarterfinals there, um, semi-finals in February. Uh, nothing in March for it. Nothing in April. So oh wait a minute. So really, Copa del Rey final June 29th. Honestly, so. If we get through in late February, well, we got to wait four months for the final. Seriously? That is some wait for a final, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we've got Sevilla there coming up at the end of the season. We've also got Al Almeria, if that's how you say it, there at home on the last day. And we've got Barcelona coming up near the end as well. So, But yeah, that's uh, the calendar, guys. So. We don't need to see that. The currency, by the way, I'm going to change that. Let's be authentic or official or whatever. I'm going to change it to euros since we are in Spain. We've got the board expectations here, which we've already seen. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we've got financial prediction. I've actually set my tickets to high. You can make it low, medium. I'm going to go with high anywhere and just see what happens with that. Um, got manager history, we haven't got no history obviously, we've got our sponsor details which we've already seen, we've got staff upgrades, they make a return of course, we've got striker, coach, midfield, defence, goalkeeper, negotiator, scout, medical and stadium, but look at all these, they're all like nearly tens most of them aren't they, apart from stadium manager, but stadium manager is like the most expensive one, so uh, yeah, I think if anything we, hmm, medical staff, I mean maybe trying to get that to a ten might be worth it possibly and then if we do get injuries they might come back straight away or whatever also i think it comes under medical staff for fitness so that might actually be better guys by upgrading that by one so i might actually just do that um negotiate uh, these might be worth it i'm not too sure but it means spending a lot of money so we'll we'll go for medical staff to um, start us off with there and that means you know our players will try to stay fit we've got our youth academy here so yeah, we've got uh, these guys here. We've got a 59 rated player and a 55 there. So nothing too much that stands out there, but you know. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that is it there. Oh, we've got scouting as well. So we can send out a scout into any part of the world pretty much. And you can look for, say, I don't know, a defender in Netherlands um, who's a goalkeeper. You can do a quick survey, which doesn't cost much. Good scout, which is 100,000, so that's double. Deep search, 150 foul. So obviously, it'll, they'll try and you know dig up as much as possible on um, finding the player that you want in any position there. So yeah, we've got transfers, but obviously we can't do that yet because uh, it is not open, as you can see. If I hit that, no, we have to leave. So yeah, we have to wait till January. So yeah, that's maybe one disadvantage with starting in La Liga there, but oh well, it doesn't really matter, you know, we could have done the pre-season thing. And then we got team management as well, which is pretty much the last thing. So we can edit the kit numbers if we want, takers, contracts, alerts, so I'll probably go through that in my own time. Player growth and the squad, I've actually changed it to a 4 3, -three. And um, yeah, I've got Joaquin on the right of the midfield, Braja with Silva. What a team this is, to be honest. Got Fernando Morientes, Lopez 5 ledge, what a ledge, guys. Um, we got David Vieira at front, and I've put Vicente because he's a left wing uh, midfielder uh, on the front three as well. So yeah, we've also got, um, where is he? So I've put Zigic into the subs as well. We've got Angu Angulo here, uh, Edu, etc. Al Albiol, very good team. This sunny bit of sunny there, and we've got Gwen Mata, of course. But um, he, he is a FIFA seven ledge, but he's um, you know he's sixty eight rated, so maybe he might get some game time here and there. But yeah, that is it, guys. You know what? I'm going to add the first match of the season into this episode because I know some of you like. It when I do that instead of just me rambling all the way through. Um, oh, in fact, before we get into this, guys, something that I've actually done. If I go to game settings here, so we've got we've got our gameplay, visual, um, audio, blah blah blah. But then we've got this. So we're going to do a four minute half, which is what we usually do. I'm going to put the game speed down to normal instead of fast, just because I think it might be a little better. Um, and then we've got difficulty, which goes up to world class here. And then 
we've got keeper difficulty. So we can set this to amateur, semi-pro, professional. I'm going to put it on world class because I think that's going to be very interesting because you remember in like FIFA 07, it was pretty easy to score if you remember i kept doing the same thing over over and over where i was just like cutting inside and whatnot but i could just set it to professional but i'm gonna set it to world class just to give this a bit more of a challenge guys so yeah so anyway that's it i don't think i want to um change anything in here um i think i'll just go with that uh, we've got kick takers right free kicks uh i don't know is he any mm, Vicente? what about silver what was he like Finishing eight to I guess we'll get Yeah. Yeah, go on then. We'll get we'll get silver on some of these. I guess David Via could maybe take a penalty or something. That was, that's fine. I think David uh, Via is actually my um captain actually. So yeah. I'm gonna go with that. And uh, we can do visual sim, which is um I think something new. You can do quick sim where it just like gets through it really quickly or play a match. Obviously, play a match. This is it, guys. First game of the season. Let's do it. And as you can see, the loading screens are pretty much the same, guys. So, yeah, we get all this stuff out of the way now. Then we don't have to come back to it ever again, do we, really? Visuals, very nice in this one. They look like they're a lot better um, than FIFA 07. I mean, you would sort of think that you know it's a new it's a newer game so obviously you know then fifa or seven of course but so you'd, you'd think that the visuals are improved but they really do look a lot cleaner in this and i can't really describe why to be honest i don't know i think maybe like fifa or seven because it had that sort of like oh what's it called it looks like you're playing at dusk all the time in fifa or seven quite a lot of the time unless you're playing at night of course but a lot of the time it had that like sort of Ah, that, like that, that visual element to it, didn't it? I can't really, like, I don't know how else to describe it, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to have a pop at goal and get a corner early on. Come on, boys, this is it. This is where we try to win the Liga. I don't believe, I've never, no, I've never uh, won the Liga on the channel before, so this might be interesting. Oh, what a save. That's the, um, that's the beauty of these goalkeepers. Oh, that was a really good save, that. So I can actually call a second player as well if I want to. That is booted away. Joaquin will not get there. Oh, it's a good start. It's a good start. I've actually got the, um, as you can see there, the visuals. I've got the, the, the timer and the team names and whatnot in the middle. The performance meter mix a return in this one, guys. Way. So that's something if you care about that at all i mean to me it doesn't really matter at all really i don't think it has any impact on anything to be honest oh oh did you see that did you oh that's way off oh wait still in still in still in still in oh could be good oh come on man come on and throw it that might be good if you do that and that's picked up easy ah oh well so yeah Oh, Carini. Is that Carini Carini in goal there? What a ledge if it is. <laughs> what a Pez 6 ledge. In fact, we'll, we'll get to see some Pez 6 ledges in this playthrough because I did do a, um, a, a, a Villarreal uh, playthrough in Pez 6 once upon a time, guys. So, yeah. But yeah, I think like that thing with the oh crap, that thing with the goalkeepers that I honestly think that is going to be really good for us. Like that, that's going to make this way more interesting. Um, yeah, you know I mean it's a shame that I don't know if they they brought that back in any other game to be honest. So yeah, like just having them like on a higher difficulty than the you know like the rest of the. Um, the team that you're going to be facing is going to be quite an interesting one, I think. So, yeah. Um, and, like, yeah, can we beat Barca in Madrid? Who knows? It might, might be Atletico. Sevilla was another team I was considering. It was either, like... It was really either, like... Because I've already, I've already done, like, a Villarreal playthrough on the channel, so obviously I didn't want to do those. But I've also got, like... Um, I was, I was also thinking, like, Atletico or Sevilla or Valencia. It was one of those three, really, I wanted to go with. And, um, yeah. So I did put out a league vote uh, not too long ago. And um, La Liga was one of the top ones. So uh, I went with La Liga, guys. Time to return to Spain. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, last second tackle there. 
Oh, this is all right. Oh, go on, boys. Go on, boys. Oh. It's Silver. Ah, oh, come on, Silver, man. Garcia. Yeah, a lot of memories with of FIFA 08, though. Like, um... I don't know. I've, I think I've mentioned it before on the channel, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it again, guys. I did a... Well, I went with Liverpool. I was on the 360 version of the game. I had the 360 version of this game back in the day. I didn't have this PS2 version here. Um, but yeah, I went with Liverpool and I won the league on my first season. But it was pretty close because I had to, like, I think win my like last two games. Else I think Chelsea were, were going to take the title. And then I ended up like losing to Wigan on the first of those two last games. So I thought, oh crap, this is not good. Um, and then like I won the last one. I can't remember who it was against, to be honest. But yeah, I won that. And I still won the league anyway. Like, I think Chelsea lost or drew or something. One of their last games. So kind of worked out in the end. It was pretty fun. I always loved that when it comes down to the wire, though, in the... Um, in the league and stuff, you know what I mean? It makes it so much more interesting, but you can't always ask for that. To, I mean, it makes it more interesting, but you would rather just win the league straight out, wouldn't right, you, rather yeah. than it coming down to the last day. And that was the most terrible pass in history. So, yeah. Come on, guys. No, guys, I've told you about this. I don't want none of this bull crap in this series. And they've got a throw in. Oh, God. No, nope, that's all right. Come on, this team are terrible, man. They can't, they can't keep hold of the ball for shit. So yeah, that's half time. Not so great, but we'll keep going. So yeah, everything pretty much returns. Though. Like as you can see, they've got the counter attack and the wing play options, etc., etc. And there's also the defensive ones, which I believe if you hold L1, is it? Something like that. I'll maybe try and show you in a second if I remember, but yeah. And I don't think that's going to go through. Oh, well. Come on, let's get off to a good start here, man. Like, Barcelona are like bottom of the league. <laughs> Come on, even if we draw this game, we're going to be higher than them. So that's a good start. That kind of worries me, though. Like, what the hell? Um, yeah, like, you know, at the end of the season where we're playing Barca that's kind of true if we could win the league before then that that's the objective to try and win the league before then because I really don't want to play Barca by then but yeah I'd, in this on this game right you can cut inside though just like I used to do on, on, on FIFA 07 right so oh sh sugar oh no you are kidding um you can like cut inside pretty easily but it's not as easy to do in my opinion on fifa 08 as it was in fifa 07 but um yeah oh that is terrible look at this is god awful look they've been crap all game right they haven't had like a single shot and then they're the ones who are winning but remember guys you know like in my fifa 07 um you know Whoa! what the hell shot was that Holy crap! If that had gone in, man. Um, what was I trying to say now? Like, in FIFA 07, it did start out pretty slow, and then it got better as I got used to the game. So I haven't really done any practice on the game. Um, I've played maybe a couple of matches here and there, you know, just to kind of get used to it a little bit. But, yeah, and that's a good ball in, is it? Oh, no. We got a corner out of it. Um... So, yeah, you know, it's, it's just more, kind of more fun that way, to be honest. So, yeah. And, yes! Oh, my God, these goalkeepers, man, they're going to be a nightmare. <laughs> they are going to be a nightmare. But I'd I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. Oh, crap. It's all right. We, we're 63 mins played, so, you know. Or 65 now, I should technically, so, yeah. Having to do that all the time. Here's Joaquin. Joaquin. Wacka Wacka. Uh, Pac Man. I'm going to call him Pac Man. Wacka Wacka Man. <laughs> Got to get the legendary names in straight away, man. Got to find the nicknames. You know it. Oh, go on. Oh, go on, son. Go on. That's off bullshit. <laughs> that is off bullshit. 
It's not offside anymore, guys. It's called off bullshit. And that's what we're going to call it in this series, I think. I love it when they do that. You know what I might do? I might put wing play on, actually. I was going to show you the defensive thingamabob, didn't I? But it, it's still there, guys. You know what I mean. So, you know, you can do, like, zone play, etc. If you so wish to. You know what? I'm going to put counter-attack on as well. Even that's probably not a good idea. Because I always end up conceding when I do this. Come on. I'm, I don't know if to make any subs, to be honest. I've got, like, pretty much a full-strength team out. Oh. oh, that's not good. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Yes. Ah, oh, no. I, I got the touch all wrong. Crap, she said. Oh, crap. I keep running into other people. <laughs> So I'm going to bring Edu and Angolo on and see if that does anything. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, I ran out of room there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make a couple of changes here. Uh, if we start with a loss, we start with a loss at the end of the day. Who cares, really? Only the first game in. So, yeah, you can call for a second player there as well, by the way, if you didn't know that. And this. I don't know about this. Ah. Uh, Come on, guys. Get it back. Oh, no. You know what? Just pile every... We need to pile everyone forward now. There's no choice. Come on. No, not in front of the home support. <laughs> Please, no. Edu. Go on, Edu. Go on, Ed. Go on, Ed, boy. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. It's blocked. Oh, no, man. I don't want to lose the first game. Not a good start when you lose the first game. Oh crap, I'm way out. Oh no, no! That serves me right. This is going to be a long season, guys. A long, long season. Need to get the defending right. Didn't get in the way of it. And then couldn't get the other man across in time. And that's 2-0, so yeah. What a lovely first episode this is, guys. But I'm not going to change anything, guys. We're going to keep it as it is. As, as you've seen, though, we have been pretty decent in this episode. Like, yeah, we haven't got a goal to show for it, but, like, you know, I, I just want the challenge of it. Um, just as it is, really. So, yeah. The gameplay, obviously has changed a bit since FIFA 07. It's kind of interesting to, to see. It. I think, like, the the, um, the the shooting is a bit different. Well, it really it is, to be honest. I think, like, the way that the, the animations work when the players hit the ball, um, you know, when they do shoot, is um, quite different. And um, I don't know. It feels like the difficulty has been upped a little bit since FIFA 07. Like, they don't make, you can see the improvements. They don't make as many stupid mistakes. Uh, anymore as well despite me you know like turning the goalkeeper difficulty up in this and stuff you know what I mean like they, they, even if the goalkeeper was on professional there it's still good enough but um, yeah that was a uh, pretty bad pretty bad but that's the challenge of it that is the challenge of it I'm not bothered by that opening day defeat so and just like FIFA 07 you get this little screen here match rating for uh, Canizares was 3.5 lovely look at that Morientes with an AA a 7.5 there feels like it uh, feels like I'm calling out the Pez <laughs> match ratings um, ind individual game records guys you know what I'm saying Joaquin and, and Barrage oh, they got eight and I took them off crap maybe I shouldn't have oh well it doesn't matter so yeah statistics we had nine. See what I mean? We had nine shots, five of them on target. We're just unfortunate. They had two shots, two on target. So typical FIFA bullshit right there, um, as you would come to expect. So you know you can't say we we probably you would say had the better game there, but lost. How does that even work? Wrong staff upgrade. Why did you upgrade your medical staff? We thought we agreed on improving our midfield coach first. G give me a break. Come on. 
You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know it needs to be done, but God, man, I am unhappy with the recent performance of Valencia. Perhaps it is time we begin looking at bringing up some younger players. So they're going to give me 80,000 to bring up some younger players then. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't think it's really going to help, honestly. But yeah, I mean, if we have a look... If this will actually, the saving times on this are ridiculous. Look at this. Oh my god. Like, that is just ridiculous. That is going to get well annoying over time having to do that. That was just way too long. Anyway, um, if I go into the office, I mean, really, what are these youth players going to do? Look, look what we've got. We've got a 59 rated midfielder and a 55 central defensive midfielder. Really, what are they going to add to this team? Come on now. Do you know what I mean, guys? But yeah, you know what? You know what? We, just to make the board happy, shall shall we upgrade the staff? Or shall we just ignore it? It's going to cost a couple of uh, million. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Why not? I mean, really, I'd rather use the money in January, but we've still got time yet. So yeah, that is it for this episode. But in the next episode, we'll more than likely have Real Zaragoza away, uh, Getafe at home, and Stantander um, away. And that will end off September, and then we'll go into October, and uh, we'll just continue from there, guys. So that is it for this episode. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. And join us for those free games next time. Hopefully, we can do a little bit better than we did in the first one. Here's to the season, guys. Take care.